As we age, our body's nutritional needs change. Some vitamins and minerals become essential, while others should be consumed with caution. Today I will discuss the nutrients that should be avoided or limited after 50, as well as the ones that should be consumed more. I will also explain why these changes are necessary, and how they impact your health. Nutrients to limit or avoid after 50. Iron supplements, the hidden danger. Many people believe that iron is essential for good health, which is true only when needed. However, after the age of 50, excessive iron intake can become harmful. The reason is that the body lacks an efficient mechanism to remove excess iron. When iron accumulates in the body, it can damage vital organs, especially the liver. Excess iron also weakens the immune system, making infections more severe because harmful bacteria and viruses thrive on iron. Instead of taking iron supplements, get iron naturally from red meat liver and organ meats. Women generally do not need to worry as they lose iron naturally through menstruation. However, postmenopausal women and men should be cautious about iron overload. A great way to reduce excess iron is by donating blood regularly, which helps remove extra iron naturally. Calcium is often promoted for bone health, but excessive calcium intake, especially from supplements, can accumulate in arteries, increasing the risk of heart disease. This calcium can also form kidney stones, leading to severe pain and kidney complications. This is why doctors prescribe calcium channel blockers to people with high blood pressure, as they prevent calcium buildup in blood vessels and maintain healthy flexible arteries. Instead of supplements, get calcium from natural sources like dairy products such as milk, yogurt, and cheese. Leafy greens like spinach, kale, and broccoli are also excellent sources. And don't forget about nuts and seeds especially almonds and sesame seeds. Vitamin A is crucial for vision immunity and skin health. However, synthetic vitamin A supplements can be harmful, leading to liver damage, bone diseases like osteoporosis, and increased brain pressure, causing chronic headaches. Natural vitamin A is safe. Get it from cod liver oil and fish liver oil, egg yolks, and butter. Avoid artificial or synthetic vitamin A as it may do more harm than good. Sodium is often labeled as bad for health but in reality, it is essential for energy levels, muscle function, and hydration. However, excessive sodium from processed foods, canned goods, and fast food should be avoided. Balance is key. Use natural sea salt or Himalayan pink salt instead of processed table salt. Nutrients you should consume more after 50. Vitamin C is one of the most important vitamins for boosting immunity, reducing inflammation, and protecting against chronic diseases like cancer and heart disease. There are two types, natural, from food, and synthetic, from supplements. While it's best to get vitamin C from natural sources, sometimes supplements can be helpful, especially for allergies, as it reduces histamine reactions, fighting infections and colds. The best sources include citrus fruits like oranges, lemons, and grapefruits, bell peppers, strawberries, and kiwi. Niacin, also known as vitamin B3, is essential for cholesterol balance, DNA repair, and cell regeneration. Many people over 50 suffer from low energy levels and poor circulation. Niacin can help significantly. However, it causes a flushing sensation, which is redness and warmth on the skin. But don't worry, it's harmless. To take it, start with 50 mg and gradually increase to 100 mg. It helps improve cholesterol levels by increasing HDL, or good cholesterol, and supports heart health and brain function. Magnesium is one of the most important minerals, as it helps prevent calcium buildup in cells and arteries, regulate blood pressure, naturally relieve muscle cramps and body pain, and improve sleep quality while reducing stress. The best natural sources include nuts and seeds like almonds and pumpkin seeds, leafy greens such as spinach and kale, and for those with a sweet tooth, dark chocolate. Vitamin D deficiency is very common, especially in older adults. Low levels of vitamin D can lead to weak bones, depression, fatigue, and a weak immune system. Many people believe 10,000 IU of vitamin D is too high, but in reality, 40 minutes of sun exposure provides around 20,000 IU of vitamin D3. So taking 10,000 IU daily is completely safe and essential for bone strength, mood regulation, and immune system support. Vitamin K1 is often misunderstood. Some people fear that taking extra K1 will cause excessive blood clotting, but that is a myth. The role of K1 is to help blood clot normally, preventing excessive bleeding. It is found in green leafy vegetables like spinach and kale. 
Vitamin K2 is essential for bone and heart health because it helps remove calcium from arteries and sends it back to the bones. Without K2, calcium stays in the blood, leading to artery blockages. Benefits of K2 include preventing heart disease by reducing artery calcification, supporting bone density and preventing osteoporosis, and boosting energy by improving mitochondrial function. The best sources of vitamin K2 are fermented foods like natto and sauerkraut, grass-fed dairy products, and egg yolks. As we age, some nutrients become essential, while others need to be limited to maintain overall health. Nutrients to avoid or limit include iron supplements, excess calcium, and synthetic vitamin A. On the other hand, nutrients to increase are vitamin C, B3, niacin, magnesium, vitamin D, K1, and K2. Understanding these changes can improve energy levels, prevent chronic diseases, and support a healthier aging process. Thank you for reading. Stay healthy and take care. See you in the next guide.